Good evening, New Mexico. What if we told you that something is building up inside your body right now and there might not be anything you can do at all to stop it? No, and it's not necessarily cholesterol or stress or any other medical category. What do you know about microplastics? Well, it may seem like they kind of showed up out of nowhere, but UNM researchers say they have polluted our environment for decades and they're basically everywhere now. It's pretty important to know we're not talking about just small pieces of plastic litter. Microplastics are microscopic plastic particles you can't even see with the naked eye. Researchers say they're in our oceans, rivers, lakes, soil, the clouds, even the air we breathe, the food we eat, and all throughout our bodies. So yeah, all of that may sound alarming, but Griffin Rushton met with the UNM researchers behind a pretty revealing study into these microplastics. And even with that, they say there's still so much we don't know about these things. Yeah, there is, including how they affect our health. But yeah. more answers are coming. Now, those researchers at UNM, they estimate that we consume about five grams of microplastics a week. That's mm -hmm. roughly about the same amount of plastic in this little white credit card wow. right here, if you can believe it. Now, what happens once these microplastics are inside our body? Mm -hmm. Still a mystery. But UNM researchers are getting close to figuring it out one study at a time. There's a lot of uh, unknowns that we're really working to, to move forward. Dr. Marcus Garcia is just one of the UNM researchers working to learn exactly what microplastics do once they're inside our bodies. So they're everywhere in our environment. I mean, we're seeing them in our food, we're seeing them in our water. Uh, so very hard to, to get away from them at this point. It is estimated that we consume about five grams of microplastics per week. His team studied how those microplastics move through the digestion digestive system and where they end up. Garcia says they observed mice over four weeks and discovered microplastics, as expected, don't just pass right through us. It was very insightful to be able to actually see that there was microplastics in liver, kidney. Um, of course, we saw some in the colon as well, but uh, one of the most insightful things is, is that we were actually able to identify these microplastics as transporting into the brain as well. UNM researchers recently studied human placentas and found microplastics in every one of their samples. Previous research also confirmed there are microplastics in our blood, and that means they can be anywhere in the body. But researchers still don't know exactly what microplastics do to our bodies. There are uh, many unknown questions that we're still working to answer. Are these microplastics, as they accumulate in our body, leading to some of these chronic conditions, or how are they going to affect individuals who who may already have these chronic conditions. Garcia says answering those questions is the next step before we really understand how serious the microplastic problem is. This is something that isn't going to be going away anytime soon. As long as we can have that information and have people aware of uh, what's going into our bodies, that's going to be something that's going to be very important for uh, pushing that needle forward in terms of change as well. Dr. Garcia says UNM is actually a leader in microplastics research, and mm -hmm. he expects they're going to be doing more studies. Uh, so some of those big questions that we were talking about, yeah. they could be answered right here in New Mexico. Yeah, because my top question is, where do microplastics even come from? Well, I'm sure a lot of you are wondering that too, but mm -hmm. uh, it's not a simple answer. They come from a lot of places. Of course, things like a plastic water bottle like this one, yeah. in a landfill, it can release microplastics into the environment, but so can your car tires and even some of the clothes you wear. This okay. KOB4 polo that we've got right here, this is 100% polyester. It's a synthetic fabric. Mm -hmm. Research reportedly suggests that synthetic fabrics like this, they can release some microplastics into water uh, while in the washing machine, and those microplastics aren't very easily caught by wastewater filters. Oh, wow. So again, I mean, these things are kind of coming from everywhere. Yeah, it sounds like it. Uh, so is there anything, I mean, since it's everywhere, is there anything that we can do to, to stop consuming them at it, this point? Not really. I mean, researchers are pretty clear that it's really kind of impossible to avoid microplastics at this point. They are everywhere, and it seems like they're going to be here for a while. Again, we still don't know how harmful they are to our body, so there's no reason to panic right now. Okay. Some experts have suggested switching away from like plastic food containers like this one yeah. to a glass one could help reduce the amount of microplastics in your food, but there's no really research showing if that has any real impact. And again, these microplastics are anywhere, so really you're right. only maybe reducing what you're intaking. That's a minimal change in, exactly. in the grand scheme of things. So yeah, the focus on how this impacts us since it's not going anywhere. Exactly. Wow, I've learned so much. Griffin, thanks. <laughs>